Maybe I should style my hair for a change. I'm gonna use my Bioionic Long Barrel Curling Iron. I put it up to 360 or 390, depending. You should always consider the health of your hair when you're choosing a temperature. If it's very damaged, you go low and slow. Mine's okay, it's pretty healthy. I just did a great mask on it, so it feels a lot better than it did. I just take my fingers and split it down the back in half, and I'm going to section it out in Vertical? Yeah, vertical sections. <laughs> These are words I don't use very often. So I'm going to go in big sections. My hair is layered, but it doesn't really matter. So like that, and drop. Okay. And another section. If you want it curlier, you can do thinner sections. I really don't. I just want to get it looking like I did something to it. And I'm not gonna fuss with it, I'm gonna let it cool off. Where is this coming from? Yeah, that's coming from the back, is it? This should not be here. There was a piece sneaking forward. You see how I'm not leaving the heat on that long? Think of your hair, oh, I gotta do that one. Think of your hair the same way you would when you're ironing clothes. Where is this piece? Another little piece missed. Oh, buggers. Get back there. Really doesn't have to be specific, as you can tell. The beauty of the long barrel is you can grab that whole section and do it all at once. Just makes it so much faster. Realizing I have not drank enough water today. How long has this taken me? Minutes. The bangs for me are always a struggle because I have cowlicks. So I'm gonna leave that actually. If I try to curl that, it might be a disaster. Getting very close to my mirror and to the camera. Let me split that into two. The lighting is changing. I'm starting to look a little pinker than I normally do, I think. That's the problem with working with daylight. My lights here are to represent daylight, but it's not the same. Same thing, I think I'm going to leave the bangs. Now I am going to check the back because when I have bed head I usually have that hole in the crown. No, it actually looks okay. Good. I want to bend this one a little bit more. There. And I gotta be careful. If I fuss with this too much, I'm not gonna like it. There. 
There's always one. I can just pull that back. <laughs> there, now we don't see it. When I'm dealing with these pieces, I've gotta be careful because it's gotta be, oh, see, I touched it. Bad idea. I gotta leave that alone. Oh, and this piece is bugging me. Oh, leave it, Julie, leave it. Okay, good enough. I hope this video helps you in some way. Let me know what you guys think. If it did help you, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.